Arthur, I think you had a little too much to drink. Well, I think not. What's wrong? Look, I, I don't want to end the evening like this. Who's talking about ending the evening? Arthur, I'm just not comfortable. Well, then, let's get you comfortable. I wasn't talking about that kind of comfort. Sorry. Was I being difficult? Yes, you were a little bit. What if I promised to do better? I would appreciate that. Thank you. It's just you're so damn beautiful, Victoria. I asked you to stop! Say so you know where Mason is. Yes, I know where Mason is. I'm not gonna believe you till you take me to him. I don't care what you believe. Is that blunt enough? Who was it pulled you from the jaws of those G-men, Gina? Look, you say you're Sonny Sprocket. That's who you are. You want me to tell you you're Mason? Well, you're not. That's the best I can do for today. You lied to me about Keith. You lied to me about a lot of things. Look, you want proof? Then I'll give you proof. If you were Mason, you'd be a lot more sensitive to the kind of day I've had. I've had the worst day of my life. I'm up to here in misery. Now it may be my own, but I don't care who it belongs to. Well, that's a crock. Mason hasn't cared about how I felt for a long time. You had a fling with him, right? Yeah. All you ever said to me was no, right? Yeah, that ought to tell you something, too. And how come I already know what you look like with your clothes on? Take it off. Boswell? Boswell? What did you do to him? Step back. But I wasn't very wise, was it? Because you know there's a tap on the line, now they're gonna know something's wrong. Take the knife over to me. Kick it over to me! Go pick it up! I said take your foot and slowly kick it over to me. Do it. Now step back. Do what I tell you. You're gonna get down on your hands and knees, and you're gonna put your feet together, and you're gonna tie your ankles together. Do it! Pick it up! I'm walking out of here. The hell you are. Look, this is the last time you'll ever see me, I swear it. Pick up the cord! Come on, you don't want to use that. Pick up the cord. Do it! What, you think I wouldn't kill you? Please. You don't know very much about a woman that you raped, do you? All I have to say is, officer, he was in my house. I was all alone. I had to kill him. Now get down on the floor, on your knees now. Do you hear me? Because I don't care if I kill you. Don't you understand that? I don't even care. Because I want everybody to see who you are and what you do. And I want you to be as humiliated. Take that cord in your hands. Put it, in, put it in your hands. Put your hands behind your back. 
and you cross him right now. Or I'll kill you! Guess I should have knocked. No, 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 no. This is a chapel. Anybody can come in at any time. I'm such a klutz. I'm trying to help here. I almost broke my ankle falling off the ladder. I'll clean this up. No, no, that's all right. No, I'll, I'll really, I can I'll do it. it. I made the mess. We've got we to gotta paint the floor anyway. Right. <laughs> You know, uh, I should probably check on Samantha. I should be going anyway, so I'll call you and I'll come back and help you later. Okay, fine. Thank you for coming by. Sure, thanks. Bye, Heather. Bye, Julia. Don't say it. What? I'm not about to begin being somebody's conscience. Look, I know what you think. Michael, the way you decide to live your life, it's your decision. My only concern is that Julia Wainwright doesn't make your decision for you. Just one of those men who know what all women look like with their clothes off. Besides, there's not much variation anyway. He must have hurt you a lot. Who? Mason, when you had the affair, for you to take it out on me like this. I'm not, Sonny. I, I swear. You and him ever in an accident? No. Why? Because I got this crazy idea that me and you were in the back of an ambulance once together. You don't know what really scares the hell out of me, Gina? It's not so much the things about him that I'm remembering that nobody told me. Things that keep disappearing from my own life. Like when I was a kid, I had this, uh, I had this rocking horse, big old thing, at least it seemed big to me at the time. I named it Dusty. Me and Dusty, we were gonna uh, ride off and be outlaws together. Well, the other day, I was up in the Capitol attic looking for Mason's beginning law books, figuring I need a crash course. There he was, Dusty. How do you explain that? Maybe the Capwells had one just like it. <laughs> then I really look back into my own childhood. Dusty isn't there, Gina. Nothing is. Why is that? Everybody has a childhood, don't they? Why didn't I? What was my father's name? Where'd I grow up, Gina? I used to think I just... Uh, when those people didn't carry around things once they'd left them behind, now I realize I do. Only they're his things, not mine. Look, Sonny, uh, some things have no answers. I mean, you're, you're asking me to do something that's impossible. Do you know where Mason is? Yes. Those G-men took away all your cash, isn't that right? Yeah, I know. So right now I'm your only visible means of support, Gina. What if I take a hike? Today, I don't really care. I'd miss you, though. Gina, you owe me. Now, I want nothing but a dumb, happy, good old boy till you came along. And you think you had the rug pulled out from under you? That ain't nothing compared to what you did to me. I know you think you don't any longer have the future you thought you were counting on. But at least you have the past you woke up with this morning. I'll take you to Mason. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'll do it. Put it down! Put it down! You're What happened here, man? No. No! You all right? Bastard! What's wrong? I think you know what's wrong. Oh, don't go. Does this have to ruin the entire evening? I don't feel safe with you. All right, I'm sorry. No, you're not. You just think I'm being overly dramatic. I'm attracted to you. Is that such a big crime? What does that have to do with anything? You are a grown man, for God's sake. What is that supposed to mean? It means you dress yourself, you feed yourself, and you don't bully somebody who is smaller than you, especially when you want them to like you. I thought, based on the fact that you accepted my invitation, that the attraction was not entirely one-sided. I accepted an invitation to dinner. I did not know that sex was included. Victoria, you're a grown woman. You know that's not how the game is played. I'm sorry if my advances were unwelcome. I just thought that there was no harm in trying and asking. You didn't ask. You insisted. Michael, I know exactly what you're doing with Julia. You're redrawing the boundaries every time you're with her. 
You're, you're saying to yourself, well, it won't really matter if I get this close to her. It won't really matter if I'm holding her. It won't really Look, matter. That was not typical. That was not what it appeared to be. Why are you setting off sirens on this when yesterday you thought that this was all innocent? Because yesterday I didn't know two things that I know today, Michael. What's that? One, I've, I'm hearing all this talk about this problem with Julia, this problem with Julia in my life. You obviously want this problem with Julia in your life. You've obviously decided that you won't have it any other way. And the second thing, and this is what's so surprising, is Julia's obviously decided that she wouldn't have it any other way either. What do you mean? Oh, come on, Michael. You know exactly what I mean. That was not an indifferent woman I walked in on here tonight. I don't know whether she's flattered, whether she's attracted to you, or whether she's having problems with Mason. I couldn't tell you. Yesterday, we were talking about unrequited feelings. Not today, Michael. What you need to do is you need to decide what you want from the situation. Well, maybe what I want is to find out what I want. You sound foolish. Oh, I sound foolish because I am not definite? Michael, this is not an experiment. This is real life. <sighs> Once you cross that line, Michael, you won't have any choices anymore. Yeah, I'm sure that sometime there was probably a priest who had it both ways. I don't see you taking that option. No, neither do I. I happen to think that vows are important because they're vows, Michael. So do I. But I don't think being true to your vow is more important than being true to what you feel that God is telling you to do in your life. Your real calling, and that is what I'm trying to find. Michael, I thought that you had already found it. Why else would you be fixing up this church? You know what I think? I think that you made a very safe, very sensible choice for someone who's having sexual feelings and can't express them. You invested them in someone that you thought wouldn't return them, but Michael, there was a problem. Nobody told Julia. Uh, I lost him. This... He just disappeared. What are you looking for? His knife. I was here. And 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 now it's not, so he, he must have been able to take it with him. He's a coward. Yeah, well, sometimes those are the ones you have to fear the most. Did you did you come up with anything about him this time that, that was uh, more distinguishable? I mean, something we could help to identify him with? He was uh, taller than I imagined him. And uh, he was wearing the same clothes. I don't know. Look at this. That's blood. You got a piece of it. When he heard you at the door and he started to leave, I was afraid. Look you... at this, look at this, there's more of it. You realize what this means? We can do a blood type here, we can do maybe a gene type that's a thousand times more accurate than fingerprints. You didn't go through this for nothing. I swear to God, we're gonna nail this guy. I swear to God! I've been very well taken care of. Thanks. They told me that you were out for the evening. Oh, yeah, I was, but I just had to make myself useful. Can I get you anything? Yeah, sit down. Okay. We haven't talked in a long time, and I missed you. I missed you, too. You know, once our friendship fell apart, I lost a lot of other friends as well. Got to be a situation I couldn't ignore. 
I think what you've done with your life is, well, I'm proud of you. Thanks. You know, I'm surprised to see you here. It's not exactly your kind of place. Why? It's a nice place. You looking for Mason? Let me check the guest register. No. I can... No. It's okay. You told me I had some legal work to do with Gene. I'm sorry. You know, it really doesn't matter where Mason is when I'm not with him. It's just that when I'm with him, I wish that he weren't someplace else. This terrible emergency has come up. What, is it your son? Yeah. He split personalities acting up again. Gina, it's not like psoriasis. No, I realize that. I just don't know how else to explain it. He's been through a terrible trauma. You see, we, we got up this morning and we found this letter from Keith. He, he's gone. I don't think he's coming back, and that's just a very difficult thing for a little boy to understand. Yeah, it's very difficult for anyone. I'm sorry. Uh, do you know the name of his school psychiatrist? No, I don't. That's okay. You can just give me the name of his school then, and I'll contact him or her, and we can set up a program. I don't him. think that's a very good idea. I think that would just scare Brandon. Gina, you said this was an emergency. Well, it is. Look, I tell you what, I got this book out of the library, Abnormal Psychology Today, and there's this whole chapter on split personalities. And I read it, and I pretty much get the gist out of it. But uh, I think communication's the key to this whole thing. The key to what? Well, the communicating, you know, opening up the lines of communication between Brandon 1 and Brandon 2. Gina, just because Brandon is well-behaved sometimes and angry and withdrawn other times does not necessarily mean that it's a psychopathological situation. There's a whole lot more to it than that. You see, sometimes he speaks in an accent, and he goes places, and he doesn't know where he's been or, or anything that's happened to him, and he thinks he's somebody else. Really? Yeah. But, but maybe it's just, you know, a phase he's going through. You know, boys can be boys. But I was wondering, how do they do it? How do they get the two personalities to become aware of each other? It's, it's really, it's a very complex process. It could take months, even years of analysis, of hypnotherapy. Hypnosis? You mean they hypnotize them? It's, it's not quite what it sounds, Gina. Uh, alpha states, trans states, whatever you want to call them, are very easily induced. They can't even be self-induced. You know, I'm sure you've seen those, those meditation tapes that they sell in stores. Yeah. You know, they're, uh, where you actually don't hear the message, but you hear like ocean waves, and then there's a subliminal message underneath, like I am not a smoker, I am not afraid of heights, and, and your subconscious picks yeah, up on Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Do you realize that this is not like a recipe? This isn't something that you can go home and do yourself? If Brandon has a problem, he's going to need to see a professional right away. Oh, no. I, I, I don't think that's going to be necessary. I think you've probably been right all along that he's just a normal kid and that sometimes, you know, he gets in a bad mood. The reason I'm here, I mean, the real reason is, is I've got this friend. And, and, you know, he's had some terrible problems lately, and, and it's him that I'm really worried about. I can't tell you his name, though. Um, okay, G Gina, still, it's a very complex condition. Even if the person is having problems, has extreme mood swings, it could be caused from something else. You're the doctor. I mean, you know best. <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll just try to advise my friend. You know, he, he's been through some terrible traumas. That's probably all that it is. Gina, do you understand that, that if you wish to come see me as a patient, you don't need something dramatic to diagnose? After what you've been through with Keith, I can imagine where you'd need somebody to talk to. The only thing, Gina, is you're going to have to trust that someone enough to talk about the real issues. that somewhere else? You see anybody else on the beach? No. Look, you're scaring the hell out of me, man. Come Nobody on. else ran by here. No. Why? What happened? Eden Castillo was attacked again tonight. Oh, don't worry about it. She outsmarted him this time. She even got a shot off before he got away. Same guy? Mm -hmm. You know, maybe he was around here. I just found this. Yeah, with your fingerprints all over it. It wasn't marked property of rapists. How am I going to get fingerprints on this? What happened to your arm? What? It's bleeding. You're absolutely sure I'm not keeping you for a minute. No. 
Well, you've put in a long day. Thank you for dropping by those two case history. Your hotel's on my way home from the hospital, Arthur. Right. Well, don't ever move. Cheers. I've missed you. You shouldn't say things like that. I thought maybe you were avoiding my floor. Oh, no, no, no. I just... I've gotten all involved in institutional review. I hardly ever leave my office. Sometimes I feel more like an accountant than a doctor. It's ridiculous. Sally, um, don't, don't do that yet. Okay. You all right? Sure. I don't know, you seem kind of, um... Um, uh, passive's not the word. I just know you like things your way. How would you rather have me? I, I just hope that, um, if things ever really go wrong, you'd, you'd feel that you could talk to me. Well, actually, I did get some bad news today. My brother has AIDS. Sorry. Don't be sorry for me. I don't have it. How advanced is it? I don't know. I haven't spoken to him yet. A friend of his called to tell me about it. I guess he felt he couldn't tell me himself. He's right. <laughs> have I called him yet? No. Will I tomorrow? Uh, I think you're a very compassionate person. Thank you. You can't catch it from kissing me, Arthur. You can't catch it from kissing him, for that matter. I just have the feeling that tonight is not the best night. You know what I mean? Uh, look, it has nothing to do with AIDS. I'm a doctor. <laughs> no, I know. Do you understand? Sure. You don't want to think of me having a brother and having feelings about him. It's easier for you if I don't exist outside this room. Well, it's easier for me too, Arthur. You'll have to forgive me. I just uh, can't seem to swing it tonight. Night. Mason? Mason, I'm speaking to you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Mason, come. Come to me. Come to me. Hello? Oh, hi. I'm sorry. I, I was just listening to some tapes here to try to relax uh, while I was waiting for you. I've been under a lot of stress lately. I understand you were waiting for me? Yes, I was. I... Keith left me. Gina, I'm sorry. I thought that maybe you'd want to know since you married us, you know, for sentimental reasons. Well, I'm surprised that the two of you seem very well suited to each other. You may not mean that as a compliment, but actually we were. Look, if you don't want to talk about it, it's all right. No, no, that's why I'm here. Oh, good. I was hoping you'd say that. You see, I don't really have anybody else to talk to. I mean, I, I can't go to a shrink or anything. I can't afford that. So I figured I could come to a church. I mean, they don't kick you out of churches. At least, priests don't. <laughs> this is true. Uh, yeah, I, I, and I can't talk to Brandon. I mean, I have to be really strong for Brandon. I have to be there for him. So I, I just figured I could come here and give me a good place to cry and feel sorry for myself. Strange thing is, he's the only person I feel sorry for is Keith. I mean, he never wanted to leave. Mm -hmm. And think of all the stress he's under, and he's all alone. And the weird thing, I mean, is this is a total switch for me. 
always, when I've been with a man before, I never trusted him, even when I was with him. Now, Keith has dumped me, but I, I still trust him. Well, it's because you really loved him. We had the most wonderful night last night. It's the kind of night I always dreamed about as a little girl. I guess I should be grateful for that. I mean, most people dream about things, and, and they never happen to them. But, well, the real question is, if Keith's Catholic, mm -hmm. can he ever marry again? In the eyes of the church, uh, no. Uh, we believe that marriage is a sacred bond between two people and it can't be dissolved. Good. Thanks. How did that happen, Kane? I don't know. I was walking down the beach, sort of thinking, not paying much attention. I tripped over something, probably a piece of driftwood. Next thing I knew, I was lying in what was left of somebody's cookout fire. And it was broken glass or who knows what there. And anyway, I tried to wash it out in the water. Well, maybe you should think about getting a tetanus shot. Yeah. Okay. You didn't hear the shots eaten fired? Two? A few minutes apart? No, I didn't hear or see anything. I'm sorry. Uh, that's okay. You know, uh, the blood sample we got tonight, that's gonna bring us a lot closer than we've been. Look, I don't understand how this guy got away. I was right on his tail. Roswell, it was dark. He had a head start. No, no, still. I mean, the beach out here, you can't pick out anybody's trail because it's too tracked up. But further down, where the high tide hasn't broken the sand, there's only one set of footprints. Yours. Uh, yeah. you know, I, I also hope you notice that those footprints were leading towards here, not away. Yeah, yeah, and whoever did this wouldn't have been dumb enough to have left a trail that easy to follow. You know, I, I think you've all had enough, uh, visitors for one night. I'm gonna leave. Get that arm looked at, Kane. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. That man is our friend. We are not thinking straight when we think it was him. Well, there's no way I can get him checked out for gunpowder burns now, thanks to you. Lieutenant, Cruz, this is just not possible. Well, can you swear to that? Just yesterday, we got a complaint from a woman Vic, that... Vic, that woman was lying. Hey, you listen, know it. everything adds up. It's my job to notice. But, you know, go ahead, ignore me. If you think you can afford to. I hate myself for the way I acted with you. Partly because the way I acted with you, the way I offended you, is the way I would find most contemptible another man. I never think for a moment that I myself would be guilty of that. And partly because, in my estimation, you're a woman of such great personal dignity that I would suffer greatly to think that I had lost your friendship by insulting the very qualities in you that drew me to you in the first place. Am I making a scene? No, you're not. Even if your self-respect will not permit you to renew your friendship with me, I hope that at least you find some personal satisfaction in knowing that you have taught this particular egoist a long overdue lesson. Apologizing is not one of my great talents. But actually, I'm not finding it all that difficult. Please don't decide anything now. All right. I really don't want you to feel pressured to make a decision. But may I call you in a couple of days to find out if you have? It's fine. Thank you. 
Victoria, uh, Dr. Donnelly asked me to give these to you after he left. <laughs> Thank you. You mean to tell me that a high roller like Capwell hangs out in a dive like his? Well, he's kind of eccentric. You'll see. Well, where is his eccentric butt? Well, this is just a meeting place. I have to go get him. Well, what am I supposed to do? Take a nap? Do I look like Brandon? No, no, just, just relax. See, I thought you might be kind of nervous. After all, it's like meeting your twin for the first time. So I brought you a little something to help. Wouldn't be bourbon, would it? I am a little shaky. There you go. What the hell is that? Muzak for mackerel? No, it, it's just a little something to help you relax. You just lay down and you just go ahead and, and fade off into the night, you know, just dream on and I'll be back. I'll go get Mason. I'll be back. I, I don't know when, but I'll be back. Something wrong about waiting around to meet a guy wearing his clothes. When I first walked off the stage, yeah. I started singing in the bars at night. Well, it was only this is never gonna work. We could make our country music all right. Well, that's all changed around these days. We got a lot more places to go. Mason. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hey, let me turn off the radio. Do you mean that music for cows to waltz to? Who the hell is that? Who the hell are you? Capwell? That you? Hey, who's been messing with me? Who are you? Come out and fight like a man. Capwell? Oh, God, what have I done? Hi. I made some tea. Thanks. Look, are you sure you want to stay here tonight? Oh, the window upstairs is fixed, isn't it? Yeah. I just want to do what you want. I know that I'm supposed to be the strong, supportive one through all of this, and I'm sorry that I haven't been. That's what you think? No, that's what's true. I've never felt like such a miserable failure in my life. And I'm not saying that because I want you to fix it. You know, I, don't, I know you can't do that. I just want you to know that I realize that you have been through a horrible abomination which somebody ought to have stopped. And I don't understand why I, ha I haven't been able to. Cruz? Hmm. The one thing that made me feel better was what you said to me after it happened. You told me that it was impossible to control it or to predict it. But this should be possible. If it was, you would have caught him. You came close. How did that feel? It was good for a minute. And then I just wanted him to go away. Sorry we missed you. Please leave a message when you hear the tone. Thanks. Howdy, are we? All right, be that way. I just thought I should give credit where credit is due. You're pretty smart tonight. But then I like him smart. I also like him. Well, you know how I like him, baby. at 60 seconds. I'm gonna call it down. 
something like this how can a human being do something like that look i can't stay here sorry we missed you please leave a message when you hear the tone thanks yes you missed me all right Eve. what's more is you're never going to get keep me on this line long enough to trace thanks for wise me up about that of course i had my suspicions but you confirm them tonight. Believe this. I miss you too, Eden. I'm going to remember the way you look tonight for a long time. That blue robe's so much nicer than the one you wore the first time we met. You stop it! When I get my hands on you, man, you're gonna wish you were dead! It's okay. Call. Did you hear what he said? <sighs> what he said about my robe? We just stand there and listen to that. He... What do you mean your robe? Didn't have my robe on when he was here. I only put it on a few minutes ago. He can he can see us. Hi. Hi, Heather. Come on in. Thanks. Uh, you know, Julia, it... Maybe it wasn't a real great idea for me to come here. Um, and I gather that you think so, too. I was pretty sure you'd stop by. I just wasn't sure it would be this soon. Why? Because I could tell that you magnified a situation that was an insignificant moment. Julia, Michael isn't sure that you know how he feels about you. I'm not sure that Michael knows himself. But I do know how he feels about the church, and there's no competition. So you can put your mind at ease. Would you want there to be? Competition? Yeah. No. Would I leave the man that I love and my daughter? Never. Beside the fact that Michael is a man who is committed to God. Commitments waver, Julia. He's human, so are you. The fact that he's human has nothing to do with me specifically, does it? That, that's very true. It predates you. Julia, if you would be willing to not see my Now you're overstepping your grounds. Yeah, it's true. I'm, I'm sorry, Julia. You know, maybe it'd be best if we could just pretend that this conversation never happened. I think so, too. I'm just not sure that we can. Where am I? Cheap motel, that's all I know about it. How long have I been asleep? Oh, I don't know. I'd say about... What's your problem, Hoss? Was I in a rodeo last night? Nah. You're a... You're a mirage, just a bad dream. Try none of the above. You know, your attitude sucks prairie oysters. I can't believe I'm talking to myself in the mirror and getting insulted back. Don't fly to yourself. You're talking to Sonny Sprocket, my friend. Sonny Sprocket. I see you've heard the name. Heard it? I made it up. Sonny Sprocket was... Sonny Sprocket was my invisible playmate when I... Well, I couldn't have been more than six. He and 
Dusty, that was my rocking horse. We used to, we used to rob banks together. Well, Sonny and Dusty used to rob them. I used to count the money. Stringy little fella, big sad eyes. You know, we used to let him tag along. Always bawling about how his mama had left him. and was never coming back. Visible playmates aren't supposed to grow up. Well, I got news for you, old son. You the one seems to be lacking in the visibility department. Where the hell have you been? That's what I want to know. I don't mind you wound up with Dusty. But I got your job now, and your baby girl, and your woman to boot, and I don't know what the hell to do with them. Julia? You're lying. You don't see her cooking up home fries on your side, do you? You've got to give her back. You've got to give it all back. <laughs> How, bozo? Well, I tell you what. Why don't you come over here on my side? Just for a minute. Uh-uh, Junior, that dog won't hunt. Well, you think I was born yesterday? Well, maybe I was. But it's your turn to be the invisible playmate now. in your mind. 